I don't feel it when they hit me. And, you know, I like to roll with the punches. So um, throw, throw more. The more the merrier. The more punches that you're throwing at me, the better my chances are of knocking you out. So I definitely did learn from the one little loss that I took. And um, I think twice now I've come forward and stride. And I'm uh, just going to con continue to shock the world. Man. Bitches all on my dick and every day. Sucking on my balls. Licking on my balls. Bitches, they know. Stick it in they booty hole. Oh, it's just like in your Instagram. You are at a pool party yesterday. <laughs> like, that, that's pretty crazy. Just a few days before a fight. No, oh, man. Out in the sun. Getting some fresh air. Drinking water. Dancing. Listening to the music. Having a good time. Enjoying my life. Burning some calories, man. It's the best way. No, I don't need a ticket. I am the ticket, baby. Platinum ticket. Wristband. The IP section, then? Uh, yeah, something like that. I think we might have a skybox or some shit. I'd rather see it from up there anyways. I mean, I don't know. I just... It'll be nice to see with without the... Uh, the pillars in the way and things like that. I want to see, I want to see Connor how he moves and shit, man. I got some some things to learn. I definitely listen to him talk and try to pick up some areas there. So. That it ain't it ain't that hard to scramble out from underneath a man that's just trying to take you down and hug on you real tight. There's a little video on YouTube. Somebody made a song about my call out with Robbie Lawler and that that one little weigh in where I, where I, scre I screeched. I screeched like that because then I put a lot of effort into cutting that weight. I was just I knew that I was about to go eat, so I was really happy. <laughs> But when their round was over, I said, hey, Diego Sanchez, this dude was being a fucking asshole sparring partner, bro. Oh, Diego said, oh yeah? Okay, okay. Busts this dude's eye real quick, right away. Dude throws a jumping sidekick at Diego's face. Diego takes him down, humps his back, tries to grab his neck, arm bars the shit out of him. Dude gets up, he's talking shit. Diego, I respect you, bro. Blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. He's talking to Frank, talking to me. Yo, you know, I don't know, I'm just trying to learn. Dude's sticking his fingers in my butt. <laughs> The two of you guys going back and forth would be incredible. Would you want that challenge verbally of, you know, sparring with him on stage at some point? I mean, absolutely I would want that. Yes, I would want that. <laughs> Break out the red panties, baby. We get paid. You know, of course I try to say things that will get people's attention. And I also try to be myself as much as I can. So sometimes I listen to things I say and I'm like, oh man, why did I say that? But other people love it and they think it, you know, it's hilarious. So I'm really just trying to have a good time. And uh, no matter how much fun I'm having, no matter how big the smile on my face is, I'm still the most aggressive dude in the UFC. And I just love to fight. <laughs> Did you see that? Was that the right name on the, on the shit? Yeah, bro. I was I was behind somebody in the Starbucks line, and, and I said, Ali Abdeen Abziz, how's Noah, huh? You mad rat. That shit was crazy, bro. And I'm sitting in line at Starbucks, and the name tag's right there. I'm like, yo, that's is this the dude that they were talking about? I don't know if it was him, but... It's all good. I ain't got no beef with either side, Russia or or Ireland. We can make some beef though, America. Anywhere between 13 seconds and 13 minutes, that motherfucker going to sleep. And now I can cuss on the main stage, boy. We on the main card. I'm gonna talk some shit when I'm done with him, but I'm gonna be the victorious one. I will be the winner that night.